Hey, Andrew here. I'm gonna show you how we use the command line to build and test Automation Studio projects. We at Loop, we've developed a series of Python scripts that automate our interactions with Automation Studio, be that for build purposes, testing, packaging things up. And uh, this makes all kinds of command line operations super convenient and is particularly helpful when you're talking about CI pipelines, for instance. Uh, so you can see here on the left, the list of scripts that we have available currently. There are things like command line build, which is really a pretty lightweight wrapper around BNR's already good command line tool for this. What's more interesting is this command line AR sim, which will both build the uh, simulator for you and spin up an instance of AR sim that you can then use for other things. Uh, so this is the API. You need to pass in a project and we're going to reference a really bare bones Automation Studio project that I have here. Next, I need to tell it which configuration I wanna build. Configuration, and it's gonna be called starter config. Then we'll tell it the build mode. And here I want it to rebuild. And this last handy one is called start sim. This is what tells it to start the simulator after the fact. And we'll give it a, a debug log level. So it's starting my build here. And you'll notice from the system tray, I don't have an AR sim instance running yet. And the build is carrying out, you know, the normal AS build and you've got warnings that are showing up and messages. Uh, it's coming to the end of the build here. Zero errors, five warnings and it's done building. Now it's trying to spin up the AR sim instance so we can see it in my tray, warm restart, and there we go, it's in run mode. I can double check that it did come up properly by pulling up the SDM. So next I wanna run the unit tests that are in this project. You can see I inserted BNR's unit test sample here, just has a few simple unit tests that it's gonna run. We've got a tool for doing this as well, which is called command line run unit test. So let's look at the interface for this guy. Um, all it requires is a host, which in our case is localhost, and then a destination for the test results. I'm gonna dump them into this folder here. Test results, and again, we'll say debug. All right, there we go. So done running all the tests, find the results here, and my results are right here. These, uh, these are coming straight from BNR's unit testing framework. They're formatted as a JUnit results, which is a standard. Uh, so if I format it properly, I can see a series of these tests failed, which is what I was expecting. That's just a quick primer into how we use the command line to interact with Automation Studio. Feel free to reach out if you're interested in learning more.